go. Hi, Judy Hansen here, and I'm going to talk to you today about fusible applique. I love fusible applique. A lot of people are afraid of hand applique, but fusible applique is a way to have the same beautiful look to get your projects done in a fraction of the time and to have a lot of fun. So we're doing a block of the month, but this is really for everyone out there, and I want to show you why I love fusible applique. It's fast, it's fun, it's easy. Here's one I did. I had some, and this is what you're going to do today. Get in your stash. Grab some stuff. This is some oriental fabric I had. I just cut out a shape, added a little uh, a piecing to it. How fun is that? Uh, remember row by row years ago? Uh, here was my row by row, and it's almost all fusible applique. Look at that. All fusible applique done in a fraction of the time that hand applique would take, and a different look and a look I really like. Okay, so there's a fun one. How about for placements? Now, people always ask me, do you have to stitch over all the edges? Well, it depends on how it's going to be used. On this one, because it's a placemat, and I knew people would be watching them if you let your family use them, I did, but you know, you don't have to do anything too hard. How about I just did a little straight line on here, and I really don't care if it frays a little bit. How about on this one? This is one of my... This is one of my animal series patterns. I think they're so cute. And they're done. Did I mention they're done? That's why I like applique. Here was one of my fabric lines, night owls. Actually, I think it was one of my favorite uh, lines, night owls and hedgehogs, I think are two of my favorites. Oh, but I love garden party. Oh, well. Anyways, this one, I replicated a shape and you could do this. Say you have a piece of fabric you love, just replicate that shape, maybe pop it on your copy machine and uh, make it into an applique pattern. And we're gonna, coming up, we're gonna show you all the steps to perfect applique. So there, oh, isn't that one cute? And I made these into pillows. So there you go. So we have a pillow, if I can open it here. Yeah, just put a little Velcro there, pop in your pillow, great use. Here was my flamingo. I love flamingos. What is it about flamingos? So this is one of my patterns. And here I turned her into a uh, Mrs. Santa. And how about for you golfers out there? I did a series on golfing. Look at that cute cart. I think that's my favorite part of golf is driving the cart. <laughs> <laughs> and then how about this one? This one is the uh, 19th hole, right? And just simple little fusible applique, little coasters there. A couple things I want to say when you're doing applique, you want really good supplies. You know, if you haven't found out anything about quilting, the better the supply, the longer it's going to last, and the more fun you'll have with it. Uh, just like cooking, right? You know, the better the ingredients. Uh, my father always said, get one below the top of the line, and you probably have uh, enough bells and whistles and a good product. You want felt tip pens, fine tip. I love Karen K. Buckley scissors because they have a serrated edge along them, and so that really cuts it up nicely. You probably won't use a rotary cutter, but you might need to cut down a shape. Scotch tape, that's kind of a funny one, but I'm going to show you. 1280 top stitch needles. Uh, when you get ready to do your top stitching, you want it to set up a little bit on the fabric because my goodness, you're doing all this stitching. So I like a 50 weight thread or even a 40, but you can use 50, uh, less, whatever you have. All right, these are some thread sets I have and look how pretty those are. You wanna slightly contrast your color. Like this is beautiful, but this one matches so much. We've done some thinking on it. And we think, eh, maybe next time we'll do a little bit more vibrant color. So we've got some of these, and these are on the website, judyhansendesigns.com. I want to show you some products, too. You can actually, the fusible web I love is called Heat and Bond Light. It's so easy to work with and so fun. This product even comes pre-fused. You can tell, you can see it's already on there, and they use heat and bond light. So when, when top companies are using it, eh, that makes me think it's a good product. You're also going to want something really, really important is a fusible pressing sheet. It's uh, I have them on sale on the website right now for $12.99. You can't beat that. And I gotta tell you, it's one of those things that once you have one, 
Uh, I store this under my mat. Just... It lasts forever. <laughs> and it's just a really good product. One of the things I don't think you have to buy is a, um, is a light, a light box. I do have one and I never use it. It's kind of cumbersome to get out. So when you're tracing a pattern, there's a couple techniques I'm gonna show you coming up in the next video. So you're going to want to watch that. There's some things to learn like registration lines and things like that. So we are going to do, and we still have some openings in our block of the month. And let's see, here we go. This month we're doing our beautiful flowers. And Ange, where did we put our beautiful herons? And we're doing our heron block. Look at this one. This one looks hard, and that's one of the things I like about applique. It looks hard, but it's not. So look at that beautiful bird on there, and it's behind me here, too. And these are from my book, Tropical Paradise. I've got so much coming at Angie, she doesn't know what to think here. She always does a great job. So... Tropical Paradise Block of the Month. We're starting our second month, but we can catch you up. It's an eight month. It's $30 a month, and that includes two blocks. And your last month, that's actually going to pay for the last month. You're getting sashing and borders and everything. It's a great deal. Free gift every month. In fact, this month's free gift is a package of the Fusible Web. So come along, join us. I'll have information on the website, how to get there. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.